Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I think today feels like a little bit of a two color crappie slayer day. So we are gonna break out our two inch crappie slayer mold from Epic Bait Molds. And then we are also gonna break out our tail mold from Epic Bait Molds. Super awesome. What we're planning to do today is I have some transparent chartreuse heated up. I'm gonna shoot quite a few tails in that color. And then I have several different body colors that we are going to shoot over the top of this chartreuse. And one of them I think is going to be an interesting pair with this color. So now that we got this hot, I'll give you a little better look and we will start injecting some tails. Okay, our plastic is good and hot. Right around that 360 mark. So we're just gonna pull a little bit up. It does not take much for this mold, so. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> it barely even moves. So, we'll let those cool off, which it should cool. The first batch should cool off really quick because it is pretty cold outside, if you couldn't tell uh, by what I was wearing. So we're just gonna give this just a second and then we're going to uh, pull them out and shoot another uh, round of the same color. But for the first one, we're gonna use this blue as a body color. And as you can see, that blue looks really nice. Super good looking blue. This blue is achieved with a uh, mint blue mica powder. And what I do is I mix that up, put some black flake in it, and then a little bit of blue flake, and then I put one drop of this blue here from Bait Plastics. So that's how I achieved that. But we're not gonna waste any time. As you can see, there wasn't a cut here, so this is gonna be a real-time demold. These may be a little hot. Basically, that's what we're working with. Super nice little color. Um, I'm just gonna lay these over here to the side. And we are immediately gonna clamp back up and shoot another batch of these. And then I will just shoot all the other batches of these off camera, because you get the just after one or two times. So same thing, we're just gonna pull up just a little bit and then we'll shoot it in there. Doesn't take but just a second for this to happen, so. All right, I will shoot all the other ones of those off camera, but at least now we have some tails and we will put the tails in the mold while I get this blue color hot. Okay, let's see about getting the tails in here. Uh, what I like to do is just pull them all off the sprue first. I just feel like that is the easiest way to get started. Just get them all off of the sprue here. And I just pull several at a time. I haven't had any issues with them tearing or anything like that, so that's plenty good. And then once I get them in my hand here, I like to do just a couple drops of worm oil and give them a little rub. And then we will just start putting them into this mold. Go back out a little bit. So, basically these are tapered. So when you're putting them in the mold, there is a little bit of taper. So try to line the taper up with the taper in the mold. And you'll kind of see because it'll fill out the edges. Just try not to leave any gaps around the tail where plastic can get in there and like um, overflow may be the correct term for that, but as long as you don't get any overflow, it's fine. And when we heat up our other color, we wanna make sure that we get it hot enough that it bonds to these tails. I try to get up around that 370 mark. Honestly, anything above 360 is probably sufficient, but I like to be around 370 because I figure if you're at 370 and you pull it up in your injector and your injector's not warm, that plastic is going to cool a little bit. So if you haven't been shooting, you know, a bunch in a row, because, you know, when you're doing these tails, these tails take time to put in here. This isn't like the fastest thing in the world. So you want to make sure that your plastic isn't getting super cool in your injector before it goes in here. But yeah, that's the gist of putting these in here. I'll do one side and I'll show you. But yeah, 
You just don't want any gaps. So as long as you don't have any gaps, you should be good to go. Okay, mold is closed up with the tails. As you can see, that, co that color is absolutely beautiful. I just spilled a little bit there. But yeah, super awesome. And we will shoot it over these tails. I'm excited to see how these turn out. So we'll pull some of this up, give a little spin, and we'll just inject slow and steady. You'll feel pressure. Maybe even see a little bit of uh, steam come out the sides. And then we'll just hold it for just a moment. And we will top off. And we'll shoot the rest back in there. But yeah, look at that sprue. That is a very nice color. I'll wait for these to cool off and go on to the next color. Okay, here comes D-mold number one. This is the blue. Very nice color combo. Looks about like I thought it would. You can see, super nice little color. And yeah, not bad at all. So let me show you the next color we're gonna do. It is this color. This is a clear with a red flake. There's no pigment in this, only red flake. So it makes for an interesting color. And I think it'll look good over those uh, chartreuse tails. All right, we have our red color nice and hot now it's about 375 and just gotta clear my injector real quick now let's pull up some of this red or clear and red i should say and we'll shoot it into here hold pressure for a moment and this is chartreuse tails as well. Okay. And then we'll just top off. I'm ready to see how those look because I'm not quite sure how that color is going to turn out. But I think it's going to look good. Okay. These should be ready to come out of the mold here. And what we'll do, peel that off. And yeah. That's a really interesting color combo. Hard to complain about that. Yeah. Check those out. That is really nice. So we'll move on to the next color. Next color is going to be green tails with pink bodies with black flake. A little bit of pink speckle here. It's got some black and some silver in it. So now we're gonna shoot that over the chartreuse tails. That'll probably be the last one we do. Let's pull some of this up. Give her a spin. And we'll inject in here. Hold pressure for just a moment. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of a messy sprue there, but that's okay. We'll shoot that rest back in there. All right, we'll wait for these to cool off and do a little demold. Okay, let's, uh, let's demold this uh, pink color. And yeah, not bad at all. Really hard to complain with those results. Definitely would recommend you getting the tail mold if you don't have it and you have the crappie slayer. Just gives you a whole nother set of options that you can do color wise. Yeah, there's the pink and chartreuse. There is the uh, clear red and chartreuse. And there is the blue and chartreuse. Looks super nice. Okay guys, that is a pretty much a pretty basic rundown on how to make two color baits with the uh, crappie slayer system. Um, works out pretty good. I will leave a link to both of those molds from Epic Bait Molds in the description. And that way you can pick up those molds for yourself if you decide to want them. Um, the pigments used today were pretty much uh, either from bait plastics or MF manufacturing. That way you can find them. Uh, all the flake is bait plastics. So uh, yeah, not bad. 
definitely a really good system. I am very impressed with that system from Epic and it makes some super good crappie jigs. And it's a great way to do it if you don't have a dual injector, if you don't do uh, laminate, some people don't. Um, if you wanna be able to do really cool looking jigs without having a dual injector, uh, that is a really good option. Um, speaking of dual injectors, we'll be doing some laminates on the channel soon, so you might want to stick around for that. Uh, if you like the video, drop a like and a subscribe. And if you want to buy any of the baits that I made here, baits that I make any other time, um, I will leave a link to my store below. All that money goes back into this so that I can keep making this kind of content for you guys. I'm wanting to do unboxings and reviews of every single one of Epic Bait Molds. Uh, it would just take some time to grow the lineup and... Uh, it's a really awesome deal. So if you want to uh, stick around, I would sure appreciate it. And I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you in the next one.